Hi everyone and welcome back to my channel. Today we're diving into one of the most transformative habits that you can cultivate, becoming a morning workout person. If you've ever struggled to find the motivation to wake up, to fit in a workout, or even wonder how some people can effortlessly wake up before the sunrise and fit a workout in, then you're in the right place. By the end of this video, I'll provide you with a step-by-step -step guide on how you too can kickstart your workout journey and become a morning person. Does this sound like you? You have every intention of waking up early, you set your alarm, you set multiple alarms, but you find yourself hitting that snooze button over and over and over. If you're new here, my name is Angelin and I talk all things wellness, fitness, and how I fit it into my busy schedule as a mom of two kids. Now, if you've seen some of my previous videos, I'll take them here, you know that I am a morning workout person. Because my kids wake at 7 a.m., I find that in order to fit my workout in, I need to do it at the start of the day day before they wake up. So therefore I'm waking up at around 5 a.m. and making sure that I'm done my workout before they're out of bed. Now obviously this didn't come naturally. I had to work at it every day, finding my routine, figuring out what worked for me, and now I've mastered the art of waking up early and fitting my workout in before the sun rises. First things first, let's address the elephant in the room. The struggle of getting out of bed in the morning and the allure of the snooze button. And now I get it when maybe your house is feeling cold and your bed is really cold cozy and warm, it can be really challenging to actually turn your alarm off and get out of bed. Trust me, I've been there. We've all been there. Before you start this journey, first of all, you need to determine why it is you want to become a morning workout person. Is it because you want to improve your health, you want to boost your energy levels, improve digestion, achieve a fitness goal that you set out for yourself? Having a clear purpose kind of helps us visualize and stay motivated to wake up on those early mornings. You just need to find your why. Connecting your morning workout routine to your deeper goals goals and values will definitely make you end up being more successful in the long run. It also can help you stay committed on your journey. For me, I find that I work out in the morning for my mental health on my rest days or the days that I'm not able to wake up, go to the gym. I find myself being a little bit more grouchy, short with my children. And I find that without having the release of my workout at the start of the day, I'm a completely different person. If I've worked out at the start of the day, I also tend to reach for healthier food options. I have more energy throughout the day. I tend to drink more water. And I also find that my digestion has improved greatly since working out in the morning. All right, let's go into some steps you can take to become a morning person. Number one is truly mastering the art of sleep. Quality sleep is so crucial to waking up feeling refreshed, rejuvenated, and ready to start your day. Getting seven to nine hours of sleep is what's recommended, and you really want to have a consistent sleep schedule. For me, when the weekends come and I'm staying up a little bit later, my body definitely feels it. I mean, if you're a parent, you know your kids don't sleep in even on the weekends. If I'm staying up late and then waking up at 7 a.m. with my children, my body definitely feels tired, and there's definitely a lack of motivation there to work out. Now sometimes getting good quality sleep can start with a good bedtime routine. Could be unplugging from screens, your phone, not watching TV, dimming the lights, maybe meditating, having a cup of decaffeinated tea, reducing your caffeine intake after lunchtime, and trying to do calming activities like reading to signal to your body that it's time to calm down. Now a trick that lots of people use in order to make sure they get out of bed in the morning is to put your phone with your alarm clock further away from your nightstand so that when it goes off in the morning you're forced to get out of bed walk to your phone and turn it off if you're just rolling over in your bed and finding that snooze button chances are you're gonna want to stay in bed I also like to set multiple alarms on my phone as well as my smartwatch that way I'm constantly interrupted in my sleep and more likely to get out of bed number two and for me this one is huge setting yourself up for success preparation the night before is the start of a success successful morning routine. Your morning starts the night before. Lay out your workout clothes the night before. Put your water bottles, supplements, anything you may need out where you can see them. Make sure your keys are available. If you're going to the gym, your gym bag, your shoes, everything is ready. You're removing any barriers that might derail your plans. I've posted a lot of shorts and videos about how I wake up. I make sure I have overnight oats in the fridge ready to go. My supplements are ready. My water bottles clean. My gym bag and keys are ready to go. My morning routine is very, very smooth 
move. I'm never running around from room to room looking for things. My husband and kids are still sleeping when I leave for the gym in the morning, so I have to be as quiet as possible. So preparation is really important for me. By removing these obstacles, you'll definitely streamline your morning routine and make it easier to stick to your plan. Number three is create a morning ritual. Now at first, if you're just dabbling and seeing if you can wake up and work out in the morning, you most likely won't have time for much of a ritual. My ritual naturally came. I don't do any type of meditation or journaling or anything like that in the morning because I don't have time. But I was finding that after I drank my pre-workout, which I cut with cold water, I was feeling very chilly. I started making a cup of tea with my breakfast and this became a ritual for me. I find a nice warm cup of tea helps with my digestion and it puts me in a really great mood at the start of the day. Lots of people like to listen to uplifting music, do some stretches. So you have to find what energizes you and what's gonna set a positive tone for your day. Number four, hydration. So hydration is key. Drinking a lot of water the night before, but also in the morning as well. Drinking a cup of water as soon as you wake up, helping flush all those toxins from our body, get our digestion going, and it'll really help us in our workout as well. We definitely want to be replenishing our body after a night of rest. Number five is something that I didn't know I needed, and that is an accountability buddy. So I've mentioned it in a few of my videos before, but I don't love going to the gym and I don't love working out at home because that requires me to push myself to stay motivated and I don't have anyone pushing me or working alongside me so what I found through the years is that group fitness is what works for me and I do go to f45 at 6 a.m. Monday to Friday when I signed up for the f45 in my community I didn't know anybody and I decided to give it a go because they had a free trial and that was three years ago and since then I've made some amazing friends and every morning at 6 a.m. we're there we're holding each other accountable we're laughing we're having a good time and I definitely look forward to my morning workouts now. Knowing that someone is counting on you to be there is definitely makes it harder to press that snooze button. And again, I know I've said this before, the 6 a.m. workout class in my area is very busy, so I do have to register the night before. So in the morning, if I don't show up for the class, I'm actually charged a fee, and I'm so cheap that I don't wanna pay this fee. So registering the night before is something else that holds me accountable to not hit that snooze button, to get out of bed and get my butt to the gym. Number six, reward yourself. It's really hard to cement a new habit, so positive reinforcement goes a long way. The hardest part is starting, so celebrate your tiny victories along the way, no matter how small, whether it's completing a workout challenge, whether it's waking up five minutes earlier tomorrow than you did today. Acknowledge your progress and give yourself credit for your accomplishments. Now, if you're not used to working out in the morning, but it's something that you're determined to do, you're gonna have to take baby steps. Waking up 15 to 30 minutes earlier every day, setting that routine, getting that ritual in, allowing our body to adjust to the difference in the time. Pay attention to how your body's responding. If you're waking up feeling really tired and hungry before your workout, allowing more time for you to nourish yourself before the workout so that you can get the best out of your workout. Experiment with different type of group fitness classes, different type of exercises until you find what works for you and your body. Thank you so much for joining me today. Don't forget that every morning, every sunrise, it brings a new opportunity to be the best version of yourself. If you found this video helpful, don't forget to like and subscribe. Subscribe. Thanks so much for tuning in and I'll see you in my next video. Bye for now.